Are you looking to sell your home or are you thinking about selling in the future and utilizing um, the public sites that are online, that litany of them that are online out there, uh, whether it be Trulia, Zillow, Realtor.com, you name it. If you're using these sites to think about selling your home or just keeping up with what's going on in the marketplace and, and who's selling and what homes are selling for in and around where you live, did you know that the price that you're seeing a home sell for may not actually be the price that it's sold for. I am Frank McManus with Lamakia Realty and today I just want to share the difference between what a gross sale price is versus what the, re the real sale price is in terms of what you're seeing and the perception of what you're seeing versus the reality of what a home is actually selling for. Um, and I'm sharing this with you because if you're thinking about selling in the future, knowing the difference between the two could help you um, greatly with properly pricing your house and accepting a proper offer in the future for what's more in line with what's going on in your neighborhood. And I'll put in the links below uh, the actual link to the blog so you can read the whole thing. But here's a quick summary for you. So for instance, let's say your neighbor listed their house for $500,000. And on whatever site you're utilizing, you see that it's sold or had an accepted offer for $492,000. The problem is what you're seeing doesn't take into consideration the costs of closing that sale. And in this example, let's say those costs total $8,000. So the actual sale price of the home is not $492 of what you're seeing. It's actually $484,000. $484, so keep this in mind when you're looking at these sites and you're seeing what homes are going for and you're questioning how your house compares or what your house could sell for. Know the difference between the gross sale amount and what you're seeing, the perceived sale amount, what you're seeing, versus the real sale amount of what the house actually sold for. I hope this helps. Check out the link below, read the full article if you'd like. Until next time, have a great day.